So after we took our initial observations of um, what happens when you mix Alka-Seltzer with water and then put it in a film canister and put the lid on, uh, we recorded some of our observations and collected them. So um, I decided to kind of collate some of those and share them through video in case you were away or you missed something or needed a reminder. So a lot of people said that the lid popped off with a lot of force once they found a container that actually didn't leak and let the pressure build up in the container. Some people observed that the bigger the piece they used, the sooner the lid would pop off. That kind of makes sense because it would be making more gas. Um, the one person or one group suggested that half a canister of water and half a tablet was their best um, combination to get the lid, tablets, the lid to pop off. And then one, some of the wonderings, so one person asked what's the perfect ratio of water to tablet to make the lid come off. Uh, another one is what's the force or the pressure that builds up to make the lid pop off. Oops, I had the eraser on. Let's just undo that. Um, and then this is my beautiful diagram. So here's our film canister with the tablet in there. Um, you can see the gas is building up and then over time the pressure builds up so much that the lid pops off straight up, sometimes even hit the ceiling. Sometimes it traveled to the other side of the room. So then we decided what could we measure or observe about the object or events. We kind of brainstormed that. So we, one person said we could measure the pressure buildup if we had a sensor. Um, some people said we could measure how far the lid travels. So we could measure how far it lifted up in the air if you could kind of gauge how high it goes. Um, you could also measure how far it went, like distance wise, if you laid the container down and shot the container or the lid off, um, that would be a little bit more messy. You might want to do that outside if you were going to do that, um, and try to have a smooth place for the canister to travel. Um, you could also measure how long it takes for the lid to pop off. So you could measure the time it takes. And then we took a look at we thought about ways we could change um, the object or the event that might affect what you could measure. So I could change the volume of the liquid I use. And this list here, we can only change one thing because and keep everything else constant. So we'll talk more about that on the next um, uh, visual. So I could change the volume. So I could do maybe a quarter full, a half full, three quarters full of the can canister. I could change the amount of tablet. I could use a quarter, a half, three quarters, and so on. I could change the liquid. So I could use water or milk or vinegar or juice, um, try a bunch of different ones. And then I could change the temperature. I could heat the water up or I could use, um, or cool it down. I could use a variety of temperatures. If I had a way of measuring the temperature, that would be better. Um, I could also change the surface area of the tablet. So I'd always use the same amount of tablet, but maybe sometimes I would break it into smaller pieces, bigger pieces, a whole piece, and then maybe grind it up into powder. And then the last one is the container size. I could change that. That one's a little harder to change though, because then it might take forever for the lid to pop off um, if you use the same volume or the same um, amount of tablet. Um, so imagine you're going to pick what you want to change. So maybe I've decided I want to change the liquid and I want to change the time it takes for the lid to pop off. So now I'm going to set up my experiment. So I write that down. The thing I'm changing is the liquids. So that's the independent variable. And the time it takes for the lid to pop off is the dependent variable. So that's what I'm going to measure. So I'm going to time how long it takes for the lid to pop off when I use different kinds of liquids. And usually a general rule is to use, to try, you know, about five around that. So like water, um, vinegar, juice, um, maybe a couple of different kinds of juice, uh, milk, um, whatever you have at home to try. And then the things that I won't change, these are the controlled variables. I won't change the volume that I use. I always maybe will fill it half. I'll always use the same amount of volume. I'll always keep everything at the same temperature. So if you're using things, make sure that they've been sitting out at room temperature so that they're all the same temperature or warm them up to the same temperature, however you decide to do that. 
The surface area of your tablet should stay the same. So if you're using a quarter, make sure it's a full quarter and not a bunch of little pieces. The amount of tablet that I use, so am I using a half, a quarter, and so on. And then the container that I use, I would keep the same. So I'd always use the same film canister because each one can be slightly different in shape or the way the lid fits. So you want to always use the same container. And then you would write your hypothesis. So if I change the liquid, what will happen to the time it takes for the lid to pop off? So I would say, based on my question, I predict, and then I think about what kinds of liquids am I using? Mm, some of them are acid, acids, like vinegar and lemon juice are all acidic, they're sour. So I might say, if the liquid is more acidic, the time that it takes for the lid to come off will decrease. So it'll come off faster, I think. That's my guess. And I would say why I think that. So I think this will happen because acids are corrosive, so maybe it'll dissolve the tablet faster. So if it dissolves the tablet faster and makes the gas faster, then the lid will pop off faster. So that would be my hypothesis. And then finally, we would need to write our procedure. So we would need to list all the materials we use. So film canister, Alka-Seltzer, water, vinegar, juice, pop, milk, whatever I decide to use, I make a list in my materials and then I'd write my procedure. So my first step might say to fill the canister half full with water and then I might say to drop one quarter of a tablet in the canister and put the lid on immediately. That, that part has to be quite quick and then immediately start timing how long it takes for the lid to pop off. And as that's happening, pay attention to what's going on. So record your observations. Some people will even film all of that. They'll set their phone up or tablet or Chromebook, whatever they're using, and record the whole experiment so that you can go back and look and see um, the differences between each trial. And then I would say after I've recorded my observations, when the experiment's done, to rinse out the container make sure there's no residue left over, and then repeat those same steps for all the other liquids. And that would be my experiment. You'd collect the data then, and then we'll talk about what we do for the analysis and the conclusion after we've all done our experiment.